Hello everyone. So confirm me if you can hear my voice before I start talking something. Okay, cool. So how are you all? It's been long time that we have conducted this uh, YouTube session. I do usually come every six months, right? We had last in October and we are having again now because there are, if I have a good number of topics to talk and to share with you all, then I would definitely come, which it took me six months again to come back here. Yeah, we'll just give uh, two, three minutes for the folks to join. So before that, let's do something here. So as usual, tell me from which city you are viewing this hyphen and what is the latest course you have watched from my tutorials. There are a lot of courses in my kit, right? So if you are watching it from Chennai, Chennai hyphen Cypress like that. Let's see your city name and the course what you are doing. And that's that's helpful to others also to know what is the trending course everybody is learning. Nagpur Selenium. Good. Austin Selenium with Python. Yeah, Python is really good in the United States. Chennai, Cypress, okay. Bangalore Protractor. Is Protractor still in use? Delhi Selenium. Okay, I see a lot of things coming in. Delhi Playwright. You see, Playwright is also something. Hyderabad Playwright. Mumbai Selenium. Pune Rest Assured. Delhi Estate Course. Great. Estate is something which is also really interesting. Dallas REST API. And another one, Chennai None. Don't worry, if you have not gone through any of my course, this YouTube video today will motivate you and scare you to start. Okay, <laughs> don't worry about it. Los Angeles Jira. Good. That's a good way to start testing. And New York Selenium with Python, Seattle Cypress, Vijayawada Selenium with Cucumber. And what is this London Playwright? Good. Okay, I think people are also joining. It's all mix of courses, right? So that means from here we know that Selenium, Cypress, Playwright, Cucumber, Jira. Selenium with Python. Oh, Pune Selenium with Python. Right? These are the six things we are hearing a lot. Great. Okay, now let's come back. I'm going to talk very, very important topics in this one hour to see where we are, how the things are moving in QA world and what are the things we can learn, right? So let's get started, guys. Uh, did we touch 500? Because that is my benchmark to start anything. Okay, five not five viewers. Great, let's get started. So recession wipes. You all know that there is a recession. If you don't know, we are already in recession. Um, in job cuts, United States, it's already started. Microsoft, Google, Facebook, it's happening everywhere. In other, out of United States, in India, or also we are seeing an Accenture. So job cuts are happening everywhere. That's normal. That's where we it happens and normalize for every few years. That is not a big deal. The deal here is we scare. Why? We lose a job. So we still have one, two months um, financial stable. Even if we don't have a job, we can still survive. We have amount. Everybody have money. But problem is, do can I get a job in next 60 days if I got laid off? That is the scaring point. It's not about financially sustaining. Can I get a job in 60 days if I get laid off? This is something everyone should retrospect themselves. No matter if your company is stable, even if they don't have layoffs, keep it all aside. Because things are shaking, everybody know it, hiring got slow. So in this case, how we should be well prepared, right? Because we keep on topping, uh, talking, wasting our times, Googling about recession, Googling about is our company having cuts, talking to our colleagues in the job about what is going to happen to our company, right? We are wasting a number of ways what we have to waste our time. But instead of actually coming to the point and learn, right? So that is where I'm going to start here. How well we should get prepared. 
so in this case what i would tell um one thing where everybody is confused where to start when to start two questions uh, let me start writing here when to start every day we think that we need to start learning we we need to update okay and if you want to start from which tool we have to start because you might be learning many things many things are in your mind but where is that starting point everybody have starting trouble right even me right so these are the things let's strategically decide uh, very quick in this um, live session today when to start sunday morning tomorrow uh, no other excuses here you are going to start tomorrow morning that's all this question is done because if you keep postponing that will never start right this is clear when to start now where to start see what i suggest here is you need to get started from your comfortable zone so that means pick which you are already aware okay so it's like a warm up if you are uh, aware of physical activities gym you will not go first day and you will lift all the weight lifting things right how do you start you start with the basic things that means here you start with the things which you are already aware so let's say you are working on um, selenium java in your company a uh, one complaint here i'm seeing screen blur uh it's intentional guys because i i want to have interactive live session so i reduced little bit pixel that's okay um, we are not going to see anything magic in screen it's more about uh, my instructions here but um, my internet connection is speed but to get live interaction i was uh, reducing that yeah it's clear to many of us okay so let's get started now let's say you are working on selenium java in your company right at least even if you are not working if you are already aware of selenium java in the past start from there okay start from what you already know because that's where you will start gaining the interest don't pick randomly one tool if your friend say hey pick that xyz tool that have lot of jobs don't start it blindly you will end nowhere because uh, you need to start from where you actually know that is your starting point and in this case i would suggest whatever you are working in your company or whatever tool you worked in the past that is number 1 step 1 just for, uh, try to follow this you will definitely see uh, the improvement start from what you already know now if i pick an java selenium as an example um i am damn sure that no matter even if you are experienced in your company you still need to prepare right it's just not that i already working on selenium java in my company so i need not uh, refresh on that okay because the experienced person can answer it correctly you might be working on your customized framework what your company already have so you might not write code every day right so some things what you are working may not help you in interview that is something you need to really understand so when i say to start a revision you need to if you are selenium guy start with cucumber start with test ng what are different kind of exceptions in selenium uh, implicit weight explicit weight all the core topics like java what is constructor destructor function overloading overriding this keyword super keyword inheritance polymorphism abstraction public private keywords right there are many nice solid topics you have are you good in all that no right even if you are working automating a test case in your company if somebody ask you on fly you cannot answer them because you don't deal with those things on your daily job right an experienced people will agree to my word so what i will always say and this is to the people who are not really working on automation and unexperienced i would say inexperienced <laughs> that's correct right inexperienced plus um prepared person is more stronger than experienced person who is not prepared 10 times stronger i am telling you because i see many students out there they have no interview i mean they have no real time automation experience but they get very well prepared about the concepts what needs to be cleared in interview right so no matter you are in already job start from what you already know um that is first thing which you have to target in 2 3 weeks 
that is your target number one so once you are done um, guys now to clear interviews one simple main principle is you need to know ui automation plus api automation this is important i mean i would say api testing not exactly api automation you should have the really very good basics on api testing okay so gone are the days where people are hiring only ui automation tester front end tester back end tester right now when they are hiring a candidate the automation candidate they should be able to answer anything front or back so next to retrospect after you complete um step 2 this is step 2 so after you complete the basics about tool what you already know next to re retrospect what you need to do am i good to answer on ui any ui automation tool and api testing so api testing means for sure there are simple things to an easy tool and right you need to know what are different type of http operations post get put and what are different authorizations are there how do you do pojo classes how do you parse responses json responses assertions right so how do you see the status codes what is 200 what is 401 what is 404 status code what is difference between put keyword and post key uh, post http get call right so there are some things standard things you need to be very aware of it, not just a theoretical part. You need to practically understand them. To make it happen, you should obviously do one API testing tutorial also. I, I will I'll tell if you have enrolled in my course, do it. If you have XYZ trainer, do with them. I don't care. But for you to go for interview, you need to be very good in UI automation as well as API testing. So here is where you are ready to apply. Okay, so here is the point, you will feel a strong confidence on yourself that you're gonna clear interviews after the step one and step two. Okay, now if you usually ask, um, I have some questions out here I prepared, but those can be a little tough also. Uh, intentionally, I have uh, added some more tough questions uh, because that way you will exactly know uh, how to explore and learn more. So if you come to my blog, uh, there are top 500 plus QA automation interview questions from Rahul Shetty Academy.com. So here, uh, um, if you scroll down, you have Java interview questions, Cypress, API, JMeter, Postman, Cucumber, Appium, Manual Testing, Behavioral, Selenium Web Driver, Test NG. You see, you have a lot of questions. You have a question bank here. So when you have time let's say you completed your test ng just see what kind of questions usually uh, people ask here just a revision but i don't tell you that this is something like your uh, one-stop guide to go and utter interviews but you will understand what a priority is grouping parameterization assertions listeners something if you want to revise um, there is a question bank in our website everything i have uh, prepared all the question bank everything was in one single short place so you can get it from here okay um, so that is one point what i can suggest to you so you have to do it when you are ready with your uh, ui automation plus api automation testing that you are ready for interviews but don't stop here i'm saying you to start attend interviews but that does not mean you have to wrap there is one more step guys before you really feel confident see now if you say I will just go with Selenium as my UI automation and API testing rest assured in Java, fine. But there are some awesome tools in the market. I am combining both these questions uh, here. S second question is like, uh, what's new trending? Apart from this Selenium, I agree, Selenium is evergreen, but there are two more awesome tools where there are a lot of jobs coming up which you, you guys are already know that Cypress and Playwright. There's a crazy tools. I mean, you can do UI automation and you can also do API automation, everything on one single go, which is also possible with Selenium 4 version, but they have given a lot new features. If you have gone through my Cypress or Playwright tutorial, you would definitely agree on this. These are JavaScript uh, automation tools. Um, if you have one of the keyword in your existing resume 
apart from your selenium that is definitely a big add on i'm telling you because if if they have 10 resumes and if they see something like this cypress or playwright then obviously that resume weightage will be more than others again you know what i don't ask you to go and master in javascript it's like a add on just like when you go for a restaurant right you have a starter and main course both you have starter is like a trending thing you will try main course we always play safe game okay we don't take risk with main course right so similarly don't take risk with main course like whatever you are already stable go with that but starter try something trendy like this have put push somewhere in your resume go and learn that it's just 10 hour 10 hours tutorial in my courses cypress is 14 hours playwright is 10 hours one week 10 days three movies done right it's a matter of three movies and you will be easily putting that in your resume so also try this because previously i used to say um one year back that uh, have a mastery in one stack either do it in java or learn python is one thing i used to say but now see technologies are advancing people are also getting uh, more knowledgeable right now if if i see previously if i see resumes i usually see selenium everywhere now commonly i'm seeing selenium plus other tools javascript tools also when people are going ahead we should run with them right so try out this uh, cypress playwright comes in javascript java typescript it comes in different languages cypress is strictly in javascript but playwright you can learn in other tools also but i would recommend you to start only with javascript because if you learn in javascript you can learn in any other language okay so don't worry even if you don't know javascript in my tutorials we covered everything from scratch including javascript basics you all know already about it i need not again repeat about how best uh, i have articulated there so give a thought on it okay when you have this now you will feel confident on yourself okay then you see how there will be definitely change in your mindset at least you will have some peace of mind guys ultimately what we need a peace of mind if you know that i learned something i am practicing this i can clear interviews if you have that confidence that is enough no matter if you laid off or if you are still continuing in current company if there is any toxic culture or high um, the pay pay sale pay scale increase whatever problems you have ultimately there is only one solution this is the solution learning that's all right so again there are people who might think okay i don't have any layoffs in my company but fine even if you don't have layoffs there is no harm in spending one two months in a year on having learning right so when you i'll give you a simple example you will you eat a lot for four five months and then you will say oh my tummy is growing i have to do exercise i have to hit to gym once in a year at least to bring your body back right just like that here also it's been an year your brain is like getting empty have it one two months spend like a gym and learn this so the gym you are doing for health this you are doing for wealth both are required in love life health and wealth both combinedly only can make us happy one single health cannot give you anything and only wealth cannot give you anything right so just like that so these are the three steps try out this and if possible go and uh, give interviews also doesn't matter retrospect yourself that means you attend interview and then you will know where you are lagging right now you might think okay i learned this and that you go and sit in interview and once you uh, did not clear it then you will know where you are actually lagging and you can still um, retrospect yourself and you can rearrange your plans okay now this is where i am stuck now i could not do a basic java program i could not even write single dimensional array on whiteboard that is what you will come to know and then you will sit and try to figure out programming like write arrays and everything right so that's how you retrospect rearrange yourself re-emerge yourself and attend interviews so that is what i'm giving you somebody is saying uh, this is like krishna giving key to arjuna <laughs> is yeah so if it works if you succeeded then i would consider myself as krishna giving key okay that's what we know right <laughs> in real life yeah and um trust me follow this plan and again 
um, lectures, you already have all tutorials, you have all Selenium Java, Selenium Python. See, Python is also, though I'm not taking the topic here, that does not mean Python is very slow there. Python is also very good. It's up to you guys, uh, what you are currently doing in your uh, job, how you want to mold yourself. You have everything, right? You have all the tutorials, 30 tutorials in my um, forum. It could be in Rahul Shetty Academy website, own website, or obviously Udemy is somewhere. You have everything there. So go and learn my tutorials. If you don't like them, as usual, you can take back your money. No hard questions asked, but you will definitely like it and you will keep it with you lifelong because that's the lifetime access courses which you are getting for very less money. Okay. So you understood the plan, right? I hope you will work it out. And if you really work it out and if you learn something, you will generate certificate and tag me in LinkedIn. So you can follow me in LinkedIn, search for Rahul Shetty there. And once you complete the course, let's have one tag. So that way I will know that these guys have gone through this live and completed a course and started the work. And you all will get motivated when you see multiple tags from the people doing it. So what was our tag? Um, I don't know. We'll figure out. We'll come back there. Uh, I would say uh, learning plan uh, RSA, Rahul Shetty Academy. That means you learn from there, learning plan RSA. Okay. This is my tag. I'll watch out for this tag for people tagging me there or somebody is saying completed. Oh, live with Rahul. This is good, guys. I'll go with this. So that way I will be also motivated to come up with more YouTube lives because I am little lazy in coming <laughs> live with uh, people. So if, if, it, if it trends more, I will come live very often. Right. So you have a recession plan and you also know what's trending in test automation side. Uh, just me. Uh, I want to revisit here that there is no tool have came from last 12 months where it has uh, uh, caught attention of the people. It's still the same what we had two years back. I am talking about Cypress, Playwright and GraphQL. GraphQL is something which is on API testing side. It's just like an API, but that whole process is different. I wish, I think you are also aware of GraphQLs. So I have added those tutorials in January, three months before in my rest assured and postman, both API testing tutorials, I have added this um, GraphQL tutorials. They are, they are also really trending. Um, instead of REST APIs, people these days are going to GraphQLs. So try it out that as well. Um, these are trending and um, no other tool came have introduced in the market in the last few months and no breaking changes are also introduced because Selenium 4 is already released one and a half year ago. So we are stable guys. If you learn this, then you are good for at least three, four years, I think, because I'm not even making any new courses. I'm also a little sad <laughs> because I don't have anything to make. There are some things, some tools, right? But I cannot go and make every tool out there uh, that, that should have really demand in the market and that should caught my attention. I should get more requests from students. So then I can make a tutorial, but now I am also in saturation point. So let's see as of now, that was the trending thing. Um, somebody is asking ETL testing, um, ETL testing was there, but that is not something a primary worrying thing on uh, QA resumes or QA skill set that always stand as in a backup option. And there are, um, Backend SQL people does more on that. Uh, RPA, these were already there guys. Um, somebody is asking, is there RPA automation? We already have courses on that, but I'm talking about trending, which is not newly introduced anything. And now we are talking on, this is my interesting subject today to discuss, chat GPT. I'll get to your questions guys. Once I complete this uh, QA resume tips, as well as chat GPT. I will definitely take some questions today. Um, so chat GPT, how many of you are aware of chat GPT? So uh, I know some, there are international people also here, but if you are Indian, you would have known a movie called Robo, st uh, starrer Rajini Kant, Robo. And in that movie, there is a Robo called Chitti. How many of you know that uh, Chitti, uh, everybody will know in Indian if they watch that movie, right? So what that robot does is you ask anything and that Chitti will give you back a response. Okay. 
So that's chat GPT now. You ask anything, it knows everything in the world because this chat GPT is connected to Wikipedia's books, journals and all the internet everywhere. So just like in that movie that Chitty scans books in library and throw it out, this chat GPT also just scans and throw it out. So now you ask any question, it gives you answer. Doesn't matter what kind of question it is, what area it is, everything. Let's see now. Okay, that is general, but for QA, how to utilize, um, let's see that. Okay. Um, so I'll bring something here, chat GPT. So uh, just type chat GPT in uh, Google and then you will find out. Uh, answer for this okay you can land on this page directly or giving this link so let's ask some um, funny questions not funny serious questions sorry so I want to write a Cypress code to land on Rahul Shetty Academy dot com in Chrome okay I am sitting in the company somewhere I got a job I don't know uh, I forgot to write a Cypress code so I will ask like this this chat GPT that write Cypress javascript code to land on this guy website rahulshettyacademy.com url in chrome simple okay let's send this and see the magic here you go it's saying here is an example that it explains you you see that is the outer structure perfect it prepared you the code so, I mean, this comes in handy. Same thing you will check in Stack Overflow, right? But in Stack Overflow, you get a different links. You need to figure out which is the right one and you have to explore and take the solution. But here you will get that uh, all the necessary code. So, uh, similarly, uh, let's, if you want to ask anything like um, for uh, coding. Now, I want to know Selenium Java code to handle multiple child windows. Let's ask that. So write Selenium Java code to handle multiple child windows. That's it. See how it is preparing for us. All that you just take that code and put in your uh, project <laughs> and uh, that will start working. And I'll come to that question. Will chat GPT affect QA job? Don't worry, QAs are not in danger. Uh, hold on, uh, I'll come there. See, who will, if, if this code comes here, who will go and write it in the framework? Okay, your framework have in a different, works in a different way, right? So you will go to this child window somewhere from your website internally from fourth page to fifth page. But how do you, take that code and write it in the page object standard and as per your company standards, you cannot do all that, right? This will give you the pseudo code, just like Stack Overflow. That does not need us to panic. You already have Stack Overflow with you, but instead of searching it in a different links in Google, Google search may go down. Google should scare because we are using Google search engine a lot to find solutions. But now I am coming to this chat GPT to get a solution. That's all. So solution receiving uh, UI is changed and the way it gets is exact to the point. Okay, that does not mean, it's like our, somebody is asking, it's like our best friend. Yes, Google is a friend, chat GPT is the best friend. That's the only difference. So do you think companies really rely on these boards, chat boards and run million dollar projects? Do you think they leave QA side and uh, trust these boards in handling million dollars? Okay, they'll screw up. That doesn't happen. It is a best friend to people, right? So not just a QA guys, um, you can ask some nice things like uh, test scenarios also, manual testing. See, write login test scenarios. Uh, there is one website, uh, which I usually given for e-commerce practice, if you guys are aware, um, let me see. slash client. How many of you are aware of this website? Um, if you have enrolled in my playwright course, you will be aware of this because this is e-commerce website where I have uh, given for practicing automation. 
uh, where you can sign up yourself create your own account and uh, do a lot of uh, uh, automation here so yeah so now i'm asking to write login test scenarios and if you really don't know how many scenarios you can write it will give you all test cases go and test this if you are a beginner in qa it will tell invalid email invalid password it can give you it scans the website and give you all test cases what you can write to test that login page okay so that's very cool thing you see it have written 10 test cases for you and i think it can you can ask also ask uh, resume uh, let's say let's try i didn't try until now give me five years experienced but don't rely on this if people identify that this is generated by chat gpt qa resume on um, automation i don't know will it work let's see okay it's not giving <laughs> see if it can't it will tell you it's saying as an ai language i'm not able to provide however oh it's doing oh my god see i didn't see this i should not sh i should not have shown this this will affect my business <laughs> that's okay but see it's generating qa resume also fine that's so interesting right so try it out, but use it as a best friend. But if you, okay, somebody is saying I'm unable to see, but you can try on your own later. Fine, that's not a big deal. But the one thing is, I'm also safe. It cannot teach you. It will post you the code. All this code you can find in your uh, official website documentation also, but who need to explain it? So I am safe as a trainer, no, no problem for me. <laughs> so. Fine. And uh, you can ask any questions. The one thing what I liked is uh, I'm, I went to um, a place called Luzerin in uh, Switzerland. I have only two days time there. I don't know what to see. I just asked chat GPT that give me two day itinerary on Luzerin, Switzerland. And it exactly gave me plan. I followed that plan and it was awesome. It was perfectly matching my day nine to five, where to go, where, which train to take because um, Europe is all about trains. Where, where I have to buy passes. Everything was in very detail, guys. I really liked it. Somewhere I have tempted to make a simple one hour course to explain chat GPT, how QA can take advantage. But again, I don't want to make people lazy more on this. So I uh, withdrawn my plan of making it. So let's see sometime. And a big note here that if three days back, I think, from United States Senate, they have uh, passed orders to the 111 um, brilliant brains in worldwide, including Elon Musk, who is really working on this advanced version of chat GPT to hold their all the work what they are working on chat GPT. They have suspended all the work what they were doing it. They have not given permission to develop anything advanced than existing what we have. The problem here is they were really working on some advanced version than this what you are seeing. Um, but uh, they got orders to hold all the work until six months because they felt it's something getting problem to humanity out there. So they want to review everything before they give permission to uh, work on this chat GPT. I hope this will be there. But some countries are also uh, banning it. Now Italy have already banned chat GPT. So other countries are also joining in the list. So it depends again. China obviously will not at all use it, right? So we don't know how technology will fold us in the future, but this is where, where we are and you can use if you need any help. All right. And if you have any syntax errors, guys, uh, instead of posting a question in my dashboard, post here, it will correct your syntax errors also. If you have Chrome driver, double slash, double quote, quote, something missing, post here and ask it will correct and then only reach me. <laughs> Kidding, you can <laughs> reach me. But that's the advantage of chat GPT. And as I said, that's not going to affect your jobs. Nobody in the world can take risk of uh, putting their application quality in the hands of chat robot. It's just our best friend to uh, continue our work. All right, so let's get back to things. Now tips for QA resume shortlisting. Uh, this is also important. We should really look into this. 
so most of the problem i hear from students is that my i am not getting any calls right that is something very commonly i get i am not getting the calls there is a post uh, job posting on cypress let's say you everybody will resume everybody will submit the resumes but you won't get it why let's understand i will i'll tell you some the tips that's not something a one stop question bank in every live i am talking about this every time i am bringing new topics so let me give you some tips what i recently observed uh, i have a sample resume here but that's okay even screen is blur um hold on it will help you uh, don't worry about it so point number 1 uh, what i observed here so guys you need to focus here i see lot of questions are coming but i'll uh, take that questions we'll have around uh, um, um, 15 20 30 minutes at least on working on those questions but let's focus on this so i saw one resume recently i'll tell the problems what i saw so i saw one resume having that that guy put uh, i have seven years of experience in cypress okay he does not have experience but all copy pasting chat gpt resume or friends resume that 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 sounds fake right you cannot have you cannot put seven years on cypress because cypress born four years ago and it's in limelight from two years only uh, so that does not help right there are small small mistakes what people are doing is if they have any trending tools in the market they were placing it and they were like using 10 15 years or experience on that so that itself will tell that you don't have a real experience so if you are not getting calls make sure how are you uh, making sure that your latest trending technology tools i mean latest released automation tools how are you placing it so i'll tell you one example one guy so this is sample resume this does not have anything to do so you you put all your uh, project experience right uh, let me minimize little bit so may 2015 2013 so i saw one guy adding cypress here he uh, actually she she did not really explicitly put seven years of experience but she added that cypress responsibilities in 2013 to 2015 will that work see if if definitely there could be one uh, intelligent person who is recruiting if if they see that something like that they'll just put the resume aside or they would blacklist it right you have to make sure even you cannot put in 2018 also right nobody is using cypress in 2018 i'm just giving you one tool example not specifically related to cypress here so make sure how are you utilizing and placing your tools that will that is really matters okay uh, I, i mean check your resume and next one important thing theoretical so here uh, there is project responsibilities so where you worked from which year to which year and you put your designation fine but i see many of them writing 10 lines or 5 lines about their project don't waste your resume with the points what really doesn't matter there is no point explaining your project 5 points here will that help you to clear interview no just write one single line or leave it i write one title that what exactly you do banking system financial systems enough focus mainly on your roles and responsibilities okay so i really like this because having 5 to 8 points is enough you need not write 20 points in one single resume whatever you want to tell it's like you talking to the recruiter whatever you want to convey convey them in short 5 to 8 lines on single project if you want to convey them that you are a selenium lead make sure your words tone situates that selenium lead and again another problem is if you are a beginner of selenium and if you start writing points like that as a lead that will help you to fail in interviews because you are setting one stage you are setting one expectation lead level expectation right and when you sit in interview the moment people read your resume that i have led that i have led this and if you failed to answer what are different exceptions you see in selenium you are gone so um that was something you need to really take care the points what you put here 
and the words what you speak those should match so that is the second thing and the third thing is as i said experience and project responsibility should match so here it is uh before i jump to this point somebody is asking that uh sir this youtubers are thinking they are gods of qa community okay i'll come to that post uh let let's that that is something i need to really talk because uh, i will talk in the chat session for today for sure on the youtubers right so you see here professional summary if you write something here uh, on selenium make sure that it's also there in your project responsibilities okay so skills and your project responsibilities are not matching i personally saw few resumes they have lot of points mentioning about automation but when i see project responsibilities it's everything manual right so how we should decide that do you have real project experience or not everything should be in a consistent manner that is what i am uh, stressing out here so if do not uh, i mean skyrocket your expectations take it slowly that you worked in functional automation um a uh, ui automation api automation and take it slowly in your project responsibilities also and when you give a project responsibilities the bottom one should be basic because with the way your experience is growing your responsibilities also will grow i mean make it look like a real resume though you are faking you can fake see you still have 7 years of experience but you may not have in automation you might have it in manual that's okay to put that 7 years in automation because everybody is doing it if i tell don't do it others will do and sitting in companies ultimately what we need if you can impress your recruiter that's all we need right because you lent in your offline sessions you have taken a care and learning and you are in very good position than them right so that's okay you can put but strategically progressively that you are previous start with manual testing in 2013 15 okay and then start with selenium and then you mention it lead and write it there and finally end up that you develop a framework you have like this and it will definitely uh, help you to you know shortlist you are not getting shortlisted because people sense the some uh, problem i would not say complete fake somewhere if they feel that it's not honest they'll keep it aside you should show you are honest so that you should strategically build it okay and again as i said um, you use a tools which are latest and make sure you put it in a list latest and whatever honest you write in your resume your skill set should also be in that level right if you are a beginner of automation make sure your resume also a beginner so that way you will be selected so if you put as a top class architect even if you do a good job you are might not be selected because you talk lot in your resume but in practically you are not speaking so why i am not getting call this is one solution when we screen simple right i have 20 resumes i have to select two people 18 people i have to put aside how would i see it i would see it basically how honest they are how technical they are that's all technicality will come from your learning honest is how you put in your resume right and um, the final thing is location Uh, i also told in my previous slide let's say you are in bangalore and you are looking for a job in hyderabad if you put all your resume bangalore 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 hyderabad people will not call you okay in that case remove location from your resume that's okay okay just because there is no location people will uh, not uh, shortlist your resume because i am a hyderabad recruiter i want somebody to come attend an interview right i don't want to call somebody in bangalore and say what are your tickets do you have a train tatkal available i don't talk everything right that right so obviously i will shortlist by hyderabad people only so remove that location in your resume in naukri if you are applying from naukri there you will have a job location there you put hyderabad only because now it's all hybrid right work from home and office you can talk something there because ultimately they need a person in hyderabad and you want to work it there so there's no problem because uh, we this practically worked so one guy that i could not get any calls in hyderabad and we we took their resume and it's all the job bangalore address everything we changed everything that and he applied and then he got hyderabad calls simple that's the magic that's how people shortlist their resume okay so yeah keep this points ready and uh, i think that will help you to get calls definitely if you are still having problems then uh, you have services to
take near me but if i talk about services again people will say i am marketing so i don't want to talk <laughs> fine right guys so we discussed a perfect plan for our recession uh, we also see what are trending and how to use chat gpt perfectly and also tips for qa resume now there are some kind of questions technical questions what people keeps me asking because they were not sure on how to proceed there so i'm going to answer them because we never have a live interaction right i have a youtube videos there and you guys learn it but so let's get started with that okay so first question um, please talk about python selenium uh, okay so we all know about java selenium what is uh, i mean how should we take python selenium do we need to do we really need to learn it i would say uh, learn it if you are really serious about another programming language i don't want you to learn just to see how driver dot find element works or how child windows are handled in python no you need to understand python also spend learning and to understand python you need to develop framework in python also if you are a passionate if you have a time if you think that you are um, i mean career opportunity should increased then give the honest attempt complete the entire course learn also python which is part of the course do until framework session but don't pick only for simple script understanding because that will not help you to clear interviews right you also and at the end you will not be confident and we have back end python testing also that is more powerful than any language back end testing you can do batch testing you can really do lot of things with python if you are a strong python automation engineer you will soon land on the job than any other java or javascript guy that is sure but honestly you have to complete front end back end things so another question course and catalan i am not going to make a course on catalan simple because there is i i don't want to talk any about any other tools but i take some metrics to decide if i really want to make a course i take lot of metrics in place could be student suggestions x y z factors which i don't want to tell with that factors if it's falls in that attempt i will make a course so as that is not falling i don't want to randomly make courses and uh, that decreases my um, i mean uh, credibility also that's the problem because at one point of time i always i always say that people blindly buy the course even without seeing title i still have at least uh, hundreds of people who take my course even if they don't know what is title so for that reason i am not making any course from last 6 months i am only updating existing courses i can make i can make lot of courses there are lot of tools are there but as i said credibility matters so that's where i was stopped there okay somebody is asking on protractor but guys protractor is deprecated and nobody is using it maybe your company also will switch to cypress or playwright very soon because they are all are in javascript if your company is still using it i would recommend you to learn if not leave it don't learn protractor um quality over quantity yeah that's what that is the same pattern i am following in my courses also somebody is asking yeah we should have a quality than quantity i got 175% hike from your courses can i just pin this message to just motivate others let's see awesome uh, congrats ram prasad see there is a proof right we can learn 175% hike that changes our lifestyle very good so ds and algo part 2 somebody is asking data structure algorithm part 1 course i made to target uh, fang companies like amazon or something um but part 2 i am yet to make i did not make part 2 because i did not see much crazy um what i would say like uh, effort people making on part 1 i don't know why i'm still figuring out i'm going to send a mail to all part 1 users to understand what's going wrong because everything is detailedly there on whiteboard it's not about learning but the enrollments are also not going great for part 1 ds algorithm so that made me to put pause maybe i need to focus more on qa tools than thinking about algorithms data structures okay divakar is asking please make course on graphql api automation previously i said graphql is very popular these days 
But problem is I made this course already, but I did not create as a new course. I have added this three hours content in my existing API courses because I don't want to make again a separate course on that. So there is two courses, three courses actually on API testing. If you see my library um, in that rest assured, uh, which is coming on uh, Java in that in this tutorial, you will find how to do GraphQL automation with Java and you will learn everything about GraphQL. And there is another course called Postman. Here also you will understand how to do GraphQL with JavaScript automated and in the Postman tool. And there is a API testing with uh, Python also because Java I told, JavaScript I told, but Python also there should be a course, right? Where is that? Yeah, this one, API automation with Python. So all in different languages, I have clearly explained how to do GraphQL there. So no new course coming because we have already there. What else? So sir, this video will be available because I have, okay, that gone. Tosca tool, uh, same answer, uh, what I have given for other tool. Right now, no plans of making it. Sir, please talk about database testing. So I would say than database testing, how comfort you guys are in writing SQL queries. That is also one of the important. I don't know, uh, somebody will ask, some people will not ask in interviews, but I recommend you to at least understand SQL in level of groups, um, joins, at least up to that level, you should be clear on the SQL. So if you want, we all we should have, see these days I even forget if I have a course or not. See SQL and security testing. And the best seller in Udemy, go and take this course. It's around uh, how many, 13 hours? and you will be very good in SQL. I recommend than SQL testing, focus on SQL queries. That is more important. Okay. And um, so one thing I want to talk about the you these days, I don't know, I really don't want to comment on any other trainers, but let them feel like they are God or something for QA world. I okay, we will, uh, you are a God, we agree. But problem is misguiding. I see there is some kind of misguiding happening from YouTube channels for random, random things. They were making a video for, I mean, there are topics which really does not require. They're still making a video. You can still make a video, but you know, there could be some blind followers or there could be some royal people following some channels, right? So I don't want to comment one or two persons. I see, I'll give you one example. Recently, Selenium, I mean, pl guys, please don't take any trainer name here. We are not going to talk about any trainer. YouTube is a huge platform with thousands of trainers, right? Let's not pick any one individual. I am saying my experience because see, th see now no need, nobody need to give review on me because everywhere I am transparent. I push courses on Udemy. People will read my reviews, international reviews. And if they like, they will buy it. If they don't like, they will ignore it. Okay. Everything is transparent here, but that is not happening with YouTube. That is my worry because YouTube, they removed a dislike comment. So we don't know if that video is really helpful because they have only likes. Even if they post a comment that it is not good, original owner of the YouTuber can delete that comment, right? They have a right to delete the comments. So where is the criticism here? Where is the review here? So you might be a great in 2018, 2019, 2020. But problem is if you make wrong videos, wrong diversion now, who gonna judge you? Because that is the problem with YouTube because YouTube is not specifically for learning, right? It's for entertaining platform. So no dislike button and people delete comments. So I, I had a person where they spent 10, 12 hours on that YouTube channel and they realized that the whole version is outdated and the same guy made updated version. Okay, 10 hours they made on X version, 10 hours they made on latest version. So they search in the YouTube, they get previous videos only because how search engine algorithm work in YouTube, if more views videos will come first. So old videos came, they completed 10 hours and then the, they realized that in, when they go home page of that channel, they found a newer version, right? You need to delete the old videos, right? They don't delete monetization because they lose money. Every YouTube video people watch, they get money. So YouTubers should feel responsible about videos they were posting there. So what I do from now on, I don't, again, please don't take any personal name here. From now on, at least after one, two months, 
if i see misleading there i would also trying to open up in my linkedin with a review on youtube channels that's okay you guys review me because see see my udemy already 2268000 people reviewed me my things are transparent right good or bad everything is projected in the online there is nothing what rahul shetty can hide but at the end we should be also loyal to our followers who are blindly following us you, nobody is god nobody is hero here because we are also taking money right a doctor serves us and take the money we are also taking money and serving you youtubers also getting money for every video they get a money if you watch right if they are real heroes ask them to cut off ads in their video okay as long as you see ad in any youtube video you are paying them internally however right so i'm not talking about everybody here there are few people who feel they are intellectuals and heroes of the world so please let's not misguide if that is going in a misguide standard i would come up with a reviews on youtube channels at any moment um, there is the reason why i am giving the statement because uh, selenium released 4. Dot, okay i don't want to go in details guys but uh, make sure everybody should feel responsible it's if not uh, people will need to speak about it okay let's come back that's all i can tell <laughs> um sorry about it if uh, uh, best mobile automation see these days we are not even talking about this mobile automation uh, appium is the only tool in the market guys no other tool in the market we have on mobile automation right now from ages appium is only king if you learn that one single tool you are good in mobile automation that's all so there is no scope or future only one appium right now and um, another important thing so people are saying that uh, i can i read this question one second if i have total experience in it and other fields more than 10 years and only 6 years in qa position what is my overall experience i need to show while applying a job this is good question so people say that i have 15 years of experience right and their automation experience only 3 years so now how should they project in your resume they should they put all 15 years automation or only 3 years again it depends upon your skill set how confident you are how many tools you have learnt if you think that you are a beginner go with only 3 as shown in your resume okay so if you put 15 years of experience damn sure your resume will be shortlisted but the moment you sit in interview you are gone because your ultimate goal is to not get shortlisted resume you yourself should shortlist for the job right so based on your skill if you think you are a master not in the master i would say but you have learnt all the tools and you have developed your own framework from scratch on your system and if you are confident on ui automation you did your hard work in java no matter how many years you have done uh, automation you can just blindly put 10 years if you are confident on your skill set but it's not just for resume right and somebody is asking is it right time to change a job i would say it's right time to be prepared i don't talk about switching that's again personal opinion but it's a high time not even right time it's high time for you to start preparation no matter if you are losing a job or if you are having a job that's a high time so that's thanks for asking that question you should be prepared to face any consequences right so another question can i learn security testing after selenium no first learn api testing also selenium api testing and then go to security testing because people will look for experts in security testing but if you have that add on it will help you to shortlist but before that you need to be very well in your uh, api testing skills also um any test architectural video okay you want a course on test architect right we have one i can show you but i don't know yeah this is the course let's go inside and see what are different topics i'm talking here so that way you can judge if this is really a test architect so here i am showing how to create uh, pojo classes from json response and how to convert it into java object and how to read results from the database and create json files so all these are things done in real time by architects this is one section 
and uh, docker if you know about how docker works in devops uh, we have used that and window batch files server logs monitoration how to integrate docker to jenkins jenkins pipelines how to build jenkins pipeline ci cd dynamically and some tips like how to integrate data provider at stng with excel java streams um, map filters git commands this is what i have for now but i don't know if this because test architecture is not something have a defined syllabus right it's it's something a usual word to uh, have as a um, position so these are the tills skills i covered if you think that works go ahead and enroll in the course um so nidhi is asking this question sir i have experience in manual manual testing only and i am looking for selenium so how can i write selenium in roles and responsibilities please sir reply me okay so nidhi first of all if you com- complete the whole selenium course then you yourself will know some points on how to articulate in your resume okay that means what skills you know based on that you prepare one resume and send it to me okay i will see and then i will definitely suggest to you but i will not encourage people blindly sending me a resume and say add it why should i add you already learned the whole course right it's like assume that you have worked in company only right prepare your own framework and what you did in that course those responsibilities go and put in the resume right i'll still help you but you need to do all that pre work and reach me if you still have questions then i'll definitely help you okay you if you learn test ng then you will you know how to write points on like i have grouped test cases for smoke testing i have used tags i have used test ng listeners to generate report see points will come automatically if you learn so that's where i really ask you and please learn that and um, reach out me and i will definitely help you so somebody is asking could you please add graphql automation in playwright course yeah that can be done actually but yeah good point i'll uh, keep that in mind um so somebody actually gave me 110 rupee i don't know who he is rohit kumar oh should i answer this question sorry uh is this something works in youtube like this that where we can pay and ask a question oh i don't know this uh, okay what's the question um i am a manual tester for past 8 years in the same company is it getting very difficult okay it's getting very difficult for me to switch sitting in the same company fx obviously right if you are in the same company manual tester switching is difficult fine so the only suggestion what i give you here as i shown in my where is the document yeah so once you reach this uh, stage uh, ui automation plus api testing please attend some interviews that's okay if you let's say if you are in uh, bangalore attend jobs in north india somewhere because that is for practice okay you will attend first interview and you will know uh, what are the problems you have where you are lagging and then prepare on it for two weeks and then again apply jobs right Uh, apply until you get confidence because this is your first time right so how would first timers go they prepare a lot and they start giving interviews from every interview they will retrospect their self where they are lagging the reason why i said try delhi jobs because let's say you are in bangalore and if if you get a com- call from all the good companies around you and if you use them for practice then you will not get call again from them right so that's the problem i don't know if i can tell all this like this or not but these are simple tricks that don't lose opportunities around you okay don't do experiments on the companies which are around you do somewhere somewhere uh, in different places and try to attend and gain the experience that's how only you can uh, gain and you will get confidence also no other people can give you confidence um any other great questions please comment on certification okay so certification there are two kind of certifications one uh, udemy is giving certification and other certifications what you can do is from uh, istqb no other certifications are there in qa world okay because all these are open sources uh, selenium cypress all these are so no special uh, certifications are there so is is udemy certifications a good okay let's talk about that 
before i talk why can't you guys subscribe me because every time i thought i'll i'll have plan to ask it and i'll forget i am not really good at marketing but please subscribe now <laughs> so that way um if i want to come live often now and often i don't need to really announce or something i can directly come and you guys can join because if you subscribe you will notify that i am live so you can uh, get back we can chat very often that's all that's the only reason i'll not get anything if the subscribers increase because uh, youtube is not our prime business right okay subscribed fine now let's answer so udemy certification it's you can put in your resume that only tells people that you have a focusly completed one tutorial right so i'll tell you one simple uh, comedy here see whoever interviewing they are not a high standard people right they are also like us right even they will take our udemy courses they will take rahul shetty courses um one of my student attend interview and they have a certification by rahul shetty you know what first question asked by that person oh have you taken rahul shetty course and the question uh, what she asked is which course and this guy answered selenium and that lady asked is that 54 hours course have you taken then he said yes uh, see that was a conversation that guy brought me later see that means my see the student count is somewhere 700 800 1000 students right so obviously everybody will learn from somewhere uh, it could be in udemy or it could be youtube somehow most of people are aware of these courses so not just me if you put a udemy course they know that you are act everybody know that when you put udemy certification people know that udemy gives certificate only if they complete course so that means these guys have completed the entire course focusly that is the some positive hope um and if you post those certifications in linkedin obviously you will be showcasing that i am good at the skill okay so one person one of my student recently got interview call just because of his playwright certification which he uploaded in linkedin because recruiter is searching for a playwright a lot usually he is not finding the people but his feed prompted because of my comments on his certification or i don't know what it is exactly because uh, my employee told me about that so uh he pushed certification that i am good at play right now with this course i have implemented this and this and i uh, obviously i think i commented good luck for your future or something so they came to know, okay this guy have played it they reached out and uh, that's how they got a job i'm not saying it will get the question is will certifications help yes it may help may help but it's not doing any harm it will definitely help at some point which point there is no criteria so up and down it's your call now do you really want to complete the course and have certification with you so ankit is saying he's always suggesting many associate courses of mine good thank you for that and if they really get in job they'll even remember you as well not just me so there is a course called data structures sarvanan is asking will it help me to clear coding interviews tell some words about it sir okay so my data structure course um, mostly handles i think uh, uh, let's see uh, have you guys seen the topics any time did you guys give a chance to see the topics included in the data structures so if you don't know what are linked list what is recursion programming um, what are stacks queues maybe we all learnt in our uh, bachelor degree time complexity sorting algorithms searching algorithms binary trees hash maps right so if you really don't know this and if you think this obviously will be asked in interviews but not in every other interview and heads up guys so mostly companies like amazon google they might ask you these topics but again i would say these are these are not like one stop guide but this is the way where you can understand and top over this you can do your own practice but this is the getting started point that's why i made it as a part one so if you are not aware of this and if you are planning to apply some big companies and this course is for you so somebody is asking i am not getting any calls from linkedin please provide tips um i don't know how is your profile so how is your linkedin landing page go check it see other profiles if you uh, how are you exposing your skills there 
post some good activities in your linkedin like post some blog or uh, good give some information be active in linkedin and apply jobs because people blindly see your linkedin profile to decide if it's a linkedin job yeah and uh, search for jobs actively update your profile in linkedin okay so one person is asking after 16 years in logistics i decided to pursue qa because it suits me good now i am worried about huge layoffs that experienced dev and qa how should i uh, will it fail in future oh this is not at all question there is no point it is going to fail if it will fail now there is no youtube live what we are seeing here <laughs> it will not fail sorry um so how to get ust istv qb certification few suggestions okay guys one quick question do i need to make any course on ist qb certification because i'm getting lot of questions from students asking is ist qb certification good where to prepare and all do i really need to make a course do you think that helps you to clear interviews but one thing is if i make a course okay um i can make the course but problem here is i cannot theoretically talk on all the topics i will give you the main level topics and i will give you more quizzes that means more questions which will look like a real exam okay so that means if you can answer those questions with the topic explanation what i gave you will almost can clear the real examination because such kind of mock questions we can prepare because one guy reached me that he is good in expert in ist qb he said he will prepare all the material for me like with the mock interview questions and everything which will help people to clear interviews so real exam questions will be on same pattern not exactly same questions same pattern um with some topics explanation sure then i think that's my next course then now uh, i'll uh, try to work on it so you guys can all ist qb certified and put that in your resume sounds good so bihari is asking how to get on site job um next year i am also in plan to coordinate with some students for h1bs in united states because uh, the pattern is changed now previously we used to we, we need to give all the money um, and you need to get a job before you put in the h1b united states lottery but now from last two years pattern got changed first you will apply if you are selected in the lottery then only you need to um, uh, your filing will be done and you will be your visa will be processed so this change really helps us to coordinate uh, because there are some consultancies uh, they asked me in last moment on uh, two uh, two weeks before closing that they need uh, candidates from other countries for h1b filing and they are ready to uh, put them in the lottery but uh, because of last moment logistics i could not reach out to everybody but uh, next year there is specially something let's build and i mean we'll take interviews if you guys really clear that interview then we will uh, file your h1b uh, not me i will entitle you with other consultancies uh, i mean you need to get into lottery as well if you are lucky enough you will get into lottery and then we will help you to file h1b visas so i will update you more in the month of december about the process and how would we conduct interviews and all so in process of that we are uh, i'm going to start a testathon um my first testathon could be in the first week of may so basically uh, we give you a question guys can you please focus this one question i would uh, just uh, write here uh, maybe we can uh, so this testathon mainly focus uh, on we will give you two three questions for you to solve so window opens at 10 am and window closes at 5 pm until 8 hours from your own location you google figure out anywhere and uh, prepare those assignments so basically we will give you assignments okay so you need to solve those assignments and you need to submit us we will also give you one google form link you need to submit your assignments by 5 pm on that day so once we receive all assignments at 5 pm we will cut and we will not take any i will cut uh, i mean i'll download all the details and you need to give all your github links there you need to complete that assignment post it on github and give it us we will uh, rectify that and within a week we will come up with the winners and top 5 winners will be sponsored h1b visa for next year united states and another 5 people will be getting lifetime courses of rahul shetty for free 
and another five people will be featured in my LinkedIn profile where it is viewed to thousands of recruiters. We'll plan something, um, uh, some def instead of um, just a competition, we'll have some prizes, uh, technical prizes like H1B visa, unlimited courses, something like that let's plan. Um, I'm going to launch a website also on that, but I'll get more details on that. If you're really interested, um, we will let you know. Okay, so again, the good thing here is, I will tell you, do this. I will give you one uh, UI application and I'll ask you to automate. No matter you automate it, Selenium, Cypress, Playwright, choose your own tool, choose your own language, doesn't matter. I want a code, a GitHub code, which automates my scenarios. My assignment, you need to solve it. You solve in which language, which tool, doesn't matter. That's the beauty of this um, testathon. So that way you will take your expertise language, expertise tool, solve the problem, push it in GitHub by 5 p.m. and we will take top 25 people. I don't take top one person because that demotivates us, right? Let's take top 25 people and we'll see what how we can honor them. So that's the new thing coming from Rahul Shetty Academy, Testathon to encourage people to focus more on the work. And I'm very excited to, I'll, I'll, this is the first time I'm announcing this product from YouTube Live. Um, I'll again officially announce it with all the details. Sure. So my first testathon may have in the May. Okay. All right, guys. So one course on DB ETL testing as it is not in any of our courses place. Okay. So ETL testing is in my checklist. That is also very popular. I wish I would have made course long back on this. The problem is, I mean, I'll be, I'll be open uh, with you guys. Right. My reviews are open. I will be open. I will not behave like I am the guru of the community. I am serving the people. Those typical intellectual. There is one intellectual YouTuber use these words. Guru of the QA. I am. He is the king. And he's crazy sometimes. I if I see those comments. And he he abuse other trainers. Assuming that he is the king of that. Anyways, because I am talking all this because recently I had one uh, bad uh, experience. So. That's okay. Okay, the reason why I am not doing ETL testing is even I don't know. I have to prepare like you as a student. I have to learn it. I have to ask, uh, figure out some real time projects in GitHub. I have to solve it my own and I need to connect with people who is really doing ETL testing in job. Uh, give them all my curriculum and ask them if it is enough for a getting job. So some homework I have to do before I make a course, right? So that's all a big thing. So that's where I'm lazy these days. But yeah, I'll definitely make all that homework and give you the job guaranteed ETL testing course from Rahul Shetty Academy for sure. All right. Okay, guys, so let's wrap it before wrap it. Can I promote very quick if you don't mind because the promoting also matters right at the end. <laughs> so this is Rahul Shetty Academy website. You can get all alt lifetime courses on single shot. So all the current courses and lifetime courses, see our all access plan. There is some deal going on 30% off platinum plan, bronze, silver plans. So if you are interested, go to it. But it was really great session today. So many people turned up. I could see the total users today is here and there 2,666. That's the massive count. Um, I think for any YouTube live from any QA person. Uh, once again, thanks for all your love. So one funny thing I will tell you before I wrap up this session. Please, let's have that funny. Um, every time in when I, uh, when I was making very good money in 2018 with Udemy, because obviously, see, when courses are hit, I make some money, right? So I used to tell my family that, okay, this is all temporary. Don't think this is how I get every time. The moment a new trainer who come to Udemy or any platform who is better than me, I will be loser. I'll Everything will get stopped. This is like a business. Don't treat it as a permanent. Just keep it in your mind. Every time I used to caution my family from 2018, whenever they are having a bigger plans in their life, I used to caution them. Oh, this is a temporary. Then they also like, oh, fine. It's okay. They also so used to console me. That's okay. And let's keep on going. As of now, we are still standing on top, at least in this the biggest platform, Udemy. You know how Udemy also became huge success. I grown and Udemy also grown on the top students everywhere. We are still standing on number one. 
after five years. So even now if I tell my family that, okay, this is temporary, then they are not caring me. They were like, okay, you've been telling this from last five years, you are still on top, you will be continuing like this only. So that's something really motivates. And they're also telling me that, okay, if somebody go first also, you will evolve yourself as 2.0 and you will be on top. We trust you. So don't bring that topic again. So that's how even my family became this race. So that's, I would take it as, you know, compliments. That's something, a trust on my family first and trust on my students. That because if somebody is asking ETL, that means they have courses, they have a YouTubers, but still they want from me. That's something trust. What I got in these five years is irreplaceable. No money can buy that trust or nothing. Is, I'm, I'm blessed for that. And I'll that keeps me motivating and I'll keep doing it and to help the people. And again, I won't use the word help because I you take a service and you pay it. So it's all, I'll be still in this business. That's how I put a word and I won't tell me as a guru. I'd still be in this QA business, training business and uh, keep helping our mutual nets. Thanks once again for all the love. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, from all the uh, students. I'm not in video chat, but I put my hands together like this, telling you thank you. I hope you understand it. We'll meet again once we have a very good um, topics agenda. Maybe in two, three months this time. This time I'll not give you a break like six months. We'll meet again this summer with a lot more new ideas. But keep an eye on the testathon which is coming. So that is something which might help you in the future if you are on top 25 people who solved that assignment. You make a team, you bring your friends, sit on the table, you open internet, but solve that assignment. It's coming soon. Thanks guys. Thank you everyone. Love you all. Bye.